We provide high resolution aerial imagery. In essence, we fly fixed wing aircraft over the United States, Australia, and New Zealand and capture all of our aerial photography at seven centimeters or 2.8 inch GSD. And we make it available in the cloud right away. So we, we take ortho imagery, oblique imagery, and 3D. So I'm gonna show you a demonstration of how NearMap works. We're working with our global map browser. In this particular case, this is Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's ortho imagery where we're looking straight down. You can notice over here in the center, I can zoom in and I can start to see some of the detailed resolution. You can see all the rooftops, all the specific locational information that you need. And what's interesting about this version of NearMap is I can quickly go from the vertical side of things to the oblique side right away and I can see this is the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. So we also have an option where you can look at this from any direction. This is the north perspective. I can certainly go in and look at it from the east perspective um, or west. Um, and then I'm gonna come back over here and take a look at the south. So what you can notice here is, is that you have complete control over the ability to navigate, pan, and zoom. In this case, I zoomed out and you can see a larger coverage area, which allows you to quickly identify places. I could go and use my search bar and go to a different metropolitan area anytime I want. So NearMap is constantly flying. We capture 70% of the U.S. population base, and we're now flying 3D imagery. We had seen ortho imagery, which is straight down. We had seen oblique imagery, which is photographed at a roughly 45 degree angle. What we're introducing at the show is 3D imagery. So imagine our camera systems and planes are flying. We're taking pictures at an angle, lots and lots of photography, in essence creating a dense point cloud. That dense point cloud shows us all the detail associated with all the vegetation, the buildings, and all the elevation changes. And it gives the user a completely immersive analytics experience where I can look inside the visualization. So 3D running inside of Esri's ARC Earth product and other Esri endpoints are possible, allowing users to do very, very deep analysis in the construction, engineering, transportation, government planning sectors are all really important.